Mr. Blakey, I believe you have some news for us. Uh, what's happening with your career right now, please? I do indeed. Today I announced that I'll be uh, vacating my seat as the Member of Parliament uh, for Alma Transcona, effective March 31st, to go work with the new government of Wab Canoe in Manitoba as a senior advisor on intergovernmental affairs. You've been here a good while. You've uh, followed in the footsteps of your late father. Uh, why the transition time now, other than obviously the new government? Yeah, well, I'm really proud of all the work that we've done as a caucus here in Ottawa under Jagmeet Singh, and I'm really excited by the work that the government of Wab Canoe is going to be doing in Manitoba. For me personally, this is an opportunity to continue on in the same vein of work, working for people, trying to have better public policy, uh, but to get to do it from a position where I'm closer to home and I get to see a lot more of my young children and my wife and support her in her career as well. The NDP caucus is split both sides of the aisle. You sit on the far side from Mr. Singh. Is, uh, do you have any uh, confidence still in Mr. Singh's leadership? With I absolutely state? have confidence in Jagmeet Singh's leadership. As I say, we're doing a lot of great work here in Ottawa. The new uh, Pharmacare deal, that the details of which are going to be announced shortly, is very exciting and I think is going to make a big difference in the lives of a lot of people, along with the new dental care plan along with the anti-scab legislation that just uh, went to committee yesterday. So there's a lot of great work here that's been happening under the leadership of, Jag of, of Jigmeet Singh. And uh, I've been very honored to be a part of that work, but looking forward to get to do similar kinds of work uh, while being closer to home with my family. You use some, I believe, unparliamentary language, the Speaker called it today. Was this, uh, I think you were describing the Leader of the Opposition, if I got that right, or I, I'm still trying I was to... uh, expressing concern for certain members of his caucus that I felt might end up getting dragged out behind him by their tongues. And I believe you apologized for that, is that correct? I did indeed. It, was that a parting shot, or considering uh, we've got no, so it was, few it was, it, that was impulsive. And uh, I think, you know, with hindsight, uh, perhaps not the best day to do something like that. Of course, the House of Commons is a place that can get quite contentious at times. Uh, and the Conservatives certainly uh, delivered their fair share of various kinds of phrases on the floor of the House that I think would be deemed unparliamentary. I think it's worth noting that it wasn't something I had intended to put on the record. It was a Conservative MP who, who invited me to do so. Just two last things to wrap it up. Um, one, what, what is your message to your constituents? Uh, you know, I, I, just thinking of, of your constituency when you walk the streets, what, what is your key message to them now that uh, we're going to be going down a, a by-election and so on to replace My you? main message to folks in Elma Transcona is thank you and a lot of gratitude for the honour of having been able to serve our community. I intend to continue that service in another way, trying to make life better for uh, people. And I hope that uh, that as I exit, uh, voters in Elmwood Transcona will continue to support the good work that Jigmeet Singh and his team is doing here in Ottawa. Do you think your late father would be proud of the move that you're making? Um, I don't know exactly what my father would think. Um, but I know that he always supported me in my decisions about my career, whether that was when I was studying philosophy or becoming an electrician or entering into politics, and I would expect that he would be happy to support me in this latest move as well. And the final is just a procedural question. I believe you have yet to stand up to the speak, stand up in the House and resign. That is, the press release went out first. We're still, you still have to do that last hoop. Am I correct? Yeah, those pieces yeah. Will, will come before March 31st. Thank you. I really appreciate you Thank coming. Thank you very up. much. And we'll send yeah, that off to you. Appreciate it, too.